Hello everyone and welcome to my candle and wax melt empties for April and I have a lot of them. I have like 14 or 15 candles. I have a bunch of wax melts. Um, just because of the quarantine uh, we're kind of uh, stuck at home more. I'm supposed to go to the Cayman Islands in April and that was kibosh. I usually go to my mom's for a few days at Easter and that was kibosh. So yeah we're just kind of uh, hanging out at home if I'm not uh, working at the hospital and getting through a lot of wax. Um, so I will start with the candles. Now this tooth is really driving me crazy. So um, after my son passed away I was clenching and grinding my teeth like crazy. So I had uh, this molar removed after I cracked it and now um, this one was cracked also but um, it was okay till about six weeks ago and then I started having a lot of pain and it died and a few days ago I bit onto something and the whole tooth it just cracked into um, I mean the the gap in between the two pieces of tooth there it's like the freaking Grand Canyon in there um, so this um, half of the tooth is kind of pushing against my cheek here and the jagged edge is kind of cutting into it. So yeah, I am, I just need to get this tooth removed. Um, so yeah, uh, Frank has a bunch of like, power tools and that in the shed and in the garage and I'm really tempted just to get something. I just, um, I'm just kidding. If, Bar if, if Patricia's watching, I'm just kidding. I, I will not take that tooth out by myself. Um, but yeah, Hopefully I'll get it out uh, soon uh, and I need a new pair of glasses. I can't see all these too well. They're falling apart. I'm going to be taping them with duct tape pretty soon, uh, but I can't get a new pair of glasses yet. So anyway, um, I'll, I'll, I'm hanging in there. Uh, okay, so I will start with the uh, candles and I'll start with my Bath and Body Works ones. And this is Eucalyptus Rain. And that label's so pretty. And this is just a watery, fresh air kind of scent. Uh, wasn't as much eucalyptus as more, well, it didn't have that kind of sharpness or herbal kind of scent that eucalyptus usually does. It's quite watery, a little bit of floral in there too. I did better in a smaller room, just in a larger room, it kind of got lost a little bit, but it did like in a small to medium sized room, it did pretty good. And I've gone through a few of these eucalyptus rain. It's just such a great scent for the spring and summer. Just so fresh and airy and watery. And I don't remember having any, a lot of issues with the burn on that one. This is pistachio ice cream by Bath and Body Works. A really pretty label. This one really reminds me of almonds. Um, I don't get I mean, there's maybe a little bit of creaminess, but I wouldn't say it's like ice creamy. Um, but it does have a little bit of creaminess. I can uh, smell the nuttiness, uh, the pistachio kind of uh, scent to it, but I really do smell almonds. I really did like this one. I think maybe I had to cotton ball this a few times. Uh, the scent was uh, maybe about a 7 out of 10, uh, but yeah, that's a good one. And this is Ice Cream Shop by Bath & Body Works. Now, I did buy a few of these, I think it was last summer, um, just to kind of go out of my comfort zone. For, for the summer, I like um, sweet or musky kind of floral scents. Uh, I like fresh air scents, watery scents for the summer, um, certain fruity scents, uh, but kind of sweet scents, I don't know, I just... Um, it's just not my thing so much in the in the summertime, but I did try some of these just to kind of uh, try something new. But yeah, I, I had another one of these from this line and I just can't quite remember, but I was really over underwhelmed, I should say. Uh, this one didn't smell like ice cream, didn't smell like ice cream cone. It just it was so light, um, had a lot of issues with the burn, puny wicks and that. It was just disappointing. It was kind of a sweet vanilla, but very bland. I don't know. I just, we just did not get along. I just, it did nothing for me. Um, Wildflower Meadow. Now this one I did like. This one actually has some red wax in it and it really looked pretty lit up um, in these uh, little open areas. This uh, one did smell like a blend of florals and it was very strong. Um, it had a very good burn, no issues with the wicks. 
And now I'm not usually into those heavy duty florals, unless again, they're musky or sweet or woodsy. Uh, but this one, I really actually did like it. There was a little bit of sweetness in it. Uh, kind of like an earthiness, not woodsy so much, but an earthiness to the, the floral scent. So I really actually really like that one. Uh, this is Fresh Water and Aloe. Now this was at the beginning of the month. Um, <laughs> oh, let me just jiggle my uh, memory a little bit there. It definitely did have a watery green note. Did I get sit on myself? Um, yeah, I did like the scent. It's watery, it's green. I do really like those scents for the spring and summer. I just can't quite remember what the thrill was. I can't remember. Um, anyway, I can't remember, but I do like the scent anyhow. And again, I did really like the labels on that particular line that that year. I thought that was very pretty. Uh, okay, this one I do remember. Um, Black Cherry Merlot by Bath & Body Works. They're classic Black Cherry Merlot. So usually Jules um, burns this. He really likes this scent. Uh, but yeah, the label that year was very, very pretty. Uh, no issues with the wicks, no issues with the burn, a strong throw. I just, it's a classic. I really like those cherry scents. I, I do like that one. And this is uh, Rose and Vanilla by their aromatherapy line. It was called Love. And yeah, I did actually like this one. Um, the white wax did turn, or was it pink? I can't remember if this is white or light pink, but anyway, it kind of looked like swamp water, but it didn't affect the smell at all. Uh, I didn't get so much of the vanilla, but I definitely did get a lot of the rose. It did soften up on burning because just rose scents on their own, I'm not that keen on, but if there's uh, like a sweet or woodsy blend, I just love them. Uh, this could have used a little more of the vanilla to kind of calm it down a little bit, but I actually really did like this one. Uh, I probably did cotton ball this a couple of times, but um, otherwise I don't think there was really any other major issues. I did burn this in my bedroom and it filled up my bedroom and came wandering down into here. Um, so yeah, actually I did like that one. And this is White Eucalyptus and Sage, another Bath & Body Works. This one was really pretty. These little leaves. Um, you could see the light uh, from the wick through here, and it was very, very pretty when it was lit up. I definitely got more of the sage than the eucalyptus. Um, it was definitely an herbal scent, uh, but not overly so. Um, you know, it wasn't uh, overly like astringent or anything like that. It actually kind of softened up, and it was very soothing and relaxing. Uh, so definitely uh, would repurchase the this one and uh, I don't yeah I didn't have any issues with the wick it's a very strong throw uh, so definitely would get that one again and then uh, summer boardwalk by Bath and Body Works now <laughs> I thought I had maybe one or two and I was kind of rearranging my stash a few weeks ago and it's like holy smokes I got like four or five of these buried around the house somewhere um, this one I usually don't actually burn so much in the summertime even those called summer boardwalk i just find bakery scents really sweet ones and very strong ones i just don't like for the summer for some reason i just i don't know um i just like my watery kind of florals and that um so i did uh just finished this up a few days ago and it wasn't as strong as some of my summer boardwalks i did have in the family room um I mean, definitely it would have been very strong in like a small and medium sized room, but for some reason it got lost in my family room. But yeah, there's just not one that I burn in the summertime. In the fall, it's really good because uh, it does have that kind of, you know, sweet popcorn, candy cane, not candy cane, candy floss, fall fair kind of vibe to it. So anyway, um, keep nattering on about that. You guys know what it smells like. All right, and then Yankee, uh, I do have the greenhouse, and this was poured in 2015, and I actually had better luck with the tart in this. Uh, the candle was uh, rather light. Um, I didn't 
don't remember having any issues except I think it right where that little residue is it uh, wanted to tunnel a little bit so I think I did um, I did foil it for a little bit there but yeah it just was not strong I moved it to the office a small room and it still struggled to, to smell it uh, I did actually have better luck I, I love it though I it's a dark rich greenery scent I really really like it but it was just too late and then I finished a Yankee Candles Over the River Two Wick Tumbler. And this was in the soft wax. And yeah, this is one of the first scents I ever bought from Yankee. It's definitely is a cologne scent. I did like it in like a powder room or a bathroom. Because um, it has that fresh air cologne kind of scent to it. The wicks were uh, uh, rather aggressive. Um, so you can see some sit around there. Those wicks, man, I, I trimmed them and they were still just huge. So, uh, there was no issues with the burn on this one. Uh, it kind of filled up my family room, but I did do better in like a small room. So it was on the lighter side, but I don't think you can get that anymore unless it comes out as a treasure. And then this is World Journeys Australian Eucalyptus. And this is uh, the Two Wick Paraffin Wax. I love World Journeys candles. I've had a few duds. I've had a few that didn't throw well. Uh, but the majority of them throw threw well and burned well. This one had no issues with the burn. Uh, this was extremely authentic, this eucalyptus. Um, I actually... Um, a bunch... A family of koalas actually broke the quarantine and flew from... Australia and knocked on my front door uh, just to see if they could pick up some eucalyptus because that's how authentic this eucalyptus is. Holy moly. Um, yeah, definitely authentic. Had a strong throw. Um, I don't think I have any left. I thought I had one left, but I don't think I do. But that one is really, really good. And then, oops, I'll do my last Yankee, and this is lemongrass and ginger. Oh, I love this one. I just, I love ginger scents. I love lemongrass scents. And this was a, such a good, um, a good blend. Uh, it was sooty. I think near the end, I just kind of let it go a little too long without trimming. So that was um, probably more my fault than anything. Um, the good burn, I did, uh, what was the throw on this puppy? I would say about a 7 out of 10. It actually really did do well. Um, yeah, I do have a backup of this. I think I purchased this in Home Sensor Winners. Oh, um, I hope they bring it out as a classic again. It is so good. It's just so fresh. And you, if you do like those scents, uh, it is a perfect blend. And then I do have one DW candle. And this is uh, Lavender Chamomile. And good burn. Good throw. Uh, more... It was a lavender scent, but it wasn't overly herbal. I think it was tamed a little bit with the chamomile kind of scent, so it wasn't overly like a stringent herbal lavender. It was much more soft. But yeah, this one this one was good. I, I really enjoyed that one. All right, and that's it for the candles. And uh, oh, this too keeps catching my inside of my cheek. Uh, Frank and Jules, uh, I already warned them. I said, you know, if I lose any more teeth, you're going to have to puree my food pretty soon. Uh, anyway. Um, okay. I have lots of wax melts here. Uh, I will start with Colonial Candles Simmer Snaps. And this is Clementine Cupcake. And man, these are like, th I don't know, three years old or four years old. Uh, but they're still pretty strong. Um, some of them are fading on me. Uh, but this Clementine cupcake is still really strong. Oh boy. Woo! I can smell it from here. Yeah, that, that's so strong. Uh, very good sugary Clementine scent. Um, I even get a bit of that uh, vanilla cake. Uh, kind of smell in there too, but oh my gosh, this is good. It's strong and it's long lasting. That is such a good one. And then this is uh, Colonial Candles Paris Flora Perfume. And I do like this one. Some people go, oh, it smells like my grandmother. And I thought, well, um, my grandmother didn't smell like that. But anyway, I don't know. I, I really do like it. 
It's a very soft floral. It is soapy, um, but I really like it. I think it's very soft. It's very relaxing. Um, my blood pressure is going down just smelling this. I, I enjoyed it. I have, um, I do have a couple left. Uh, the wax color did change. It was kind of a soft pink, and then it's starting to get a little bit, a little bit brownish. But it didn't affect the the scent or anything like that. And then this is uh, Seashells and Sand by Ashlands um, from Michaels. And I actually really did like this scent. Um, it was a really, really pretty, it was a really pretty scent. Um, it, it was beachy, but not like, not sunscreeny. It just kind of like salty ocean air, but um, uh, really softened up. Uh, it wasn't overly long lasting, but I really did like the scent on it. Uh, it just it just needs to last a bit longer. Uh, then I do have some Scentsy. This is uh, pink cotton, and uh, I was hoping this had a little more laundry to it. And then uh, Patricia from Patricia Nose to Toes suggested. Um, throwing in uh, clothesline, Scentsy's clothesline with it. And that, yeah, it made it really, really yummy. Um, I found this pink cotton was more like a, uh, I don't know, maybe a sugary candy kind of scent. There was some floral in there. I do get a floral. Uh, but I threw the clothesline in there just to add a little more laundry to it. And it was a really, really good combination. And this one was uh, quite strong and long lasting. And then, oops, sorry, uh, Rainbow Berry. And this is from their Fantasy Wax Collection. And um, this one was definitely just berry. I didn't get too much bakery. It was more just a mixture of berries with a, maybe a little sugar uh, sprinkled on top. Now, I did uh, melt this in the kitchen. And it just kind of got lost. So I did put it in a small room. And it definitely did do better in a smaller room and then I did do unicorn kisses uh oh where's my unicorn kisses do two, two seconds okay I forgot I had well actually I'm almost finished I just have a couple cubes left of the unicorn kisses which is also from the fantasy wax collection now a lot of people found they had a really weird note they said when it was on with with the cold scent but I yeah I don't know uh, but, uh, yeah, it was, it's okay. Um, there de is a definite sweetness to it. I do pick up a little bit of vanilla. It's not very strong, though. It's it's okay in, like, a small to medium-sized room. You can, de you can make it out. Uh, but it's definitely not overly strong or overly uh, long-lasting. Uh, but it does change a little bit on um, when it's warming up. So I know people said that it had a really odd kind of scent when on cold, which I don't pick up. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. Nothing to home right, right home about. And then I dug up a couple of... Um, sensationals when I was cleaning up my uh, little stash there and these suckers are old <laughs> I really don't know how many years they are but they actually were still throwing just fine uh, this is no place like home which is a cinnamon scent yes it's definitely just cinnamon more than anything uh, maybe I mean it's a little bit earthy it's a little bit red hot it's, it's maybe in between there uh, but it's still throwing and then uh, last night I finished up Vanilla Woods by Sensationals. Uh, yeah, I do like this one. And like I said, it was still throwing just fine. But it's definitely, you, I can really smell the woods and it's just tamed down with a little hint of the sweet vanilla. And uh, this is uh, Swan Creek's Mountain Berry Parfait. And oh, Boy, this is yummy. If you like berry scents, uh, you'll like this one. It's a mixture of berries. Like uh, I get blueberry, raspberry, strawberry, all those kind of summertime uh, scents kind of rolled into one. I do get a creaminess with this also. Uh, I don't get, it's not like a bakery note I get. It's more like a, like a creamy yogurt. It's, it basically smells like berry yogurt is what it smells like. Oh my heavens, this is so good. Oh, why am I showing, you don't care. Like, why am I showing you that? Anyway, 
uh, mountain <laughs> berry parfait. Oh, very, very good. Um, it's very strong, very long lasting. And then this is Goose Creek's Pumpkin Spice Muffin. Oh boy, this one is so good. It is strong. Uh, you can get a little bit of that pumpkin bread kind of scent. But the spices are so strong in this. It is so, so good. Oh, man. I get a little bit of nuttiness. I get uh, cinnamon. I get nutmeg. Uh, oh, man. It is so good. Uh, it does smell like uh, pumpkin spice muffins. It is so authentic. And that is so good. Alrighty. What else do we got here? Um, this is uh, Better Homes and Gardens Serene Spa Resort. And it didn't really smell too spa-like. Um, didn't have that soft, relaxing smell to it. It wasn't bad. Um, I don't think I'd repurchase it. It's uh, ocean air, salty air, cologne kind of scent. Um, it, it's quite sharp on cold and it really doesn't soften up too much. Um, so... I mean, it's not bad. It's just not one that I would repurchase again. This is Maui Beachways by Better Homes and Gardens. And uh, this was closer to the first of the month. Um, yeah, this is definitely an ocean scent. Um, you get the freshness, you get the wateriness, you get the little bit of salty tinge to it too. I don't re Was this strong? I can't remember if this was that strong but it it's a perfect this, this is the scent I like to use in like powder rooms or bathrooms um, I, I can't do bakery in a bathroom that's just sacrilegious to me uh, pink velvet so this is a uh, sugary kind of scent it's like sugary kind of candy actually you know what it smells like um, it smells like angel food cake, actually. With a little bit of fruitiness in there. Like fruit kind of sprinkled on top of an angel food cake. Uh, Aromatherapy by Sensationals. I love their, their line. Uh, mint and crushed rosemary. Now this one I did get more of the mint than the rosemary. Oh, it's so good though. This is more of a natural kind of... Uh, pick from the meadow mint instead of like spearmint or peppermint. It's just kind of that natural mint. Oh, I really like this aromatherapy line. It's so long lasting and so strong. Okay, a couple of candle, uh, sorry, Yankee Candle centerpieces. This is dried lavender and oak. So I'm just melting this now in my bedroom. And even if you don't like lavender, this one is really tamed down by that uh, woodsy scent. I certainly get more of the woods than the lavender. Um, it just adds a slight perfumey herbal scent, uh, but you definitely get more of the woods. I really, really like this scent and it's filling up my uh, bedroom and it's kind of wandering back here a little bit. This one surprised me. I didn't think it'd be a strong uh, thrower, but it was. And this is a centerpiece steamed vanilla milk. And I didn't know if I'd like this when it was warmed up. Um, but it was actually really good. It really did smell like steamed milk. Uh, back in when I was young, we had no microwaves or anything fancy like that. Um, oh, internal temperature high. Allow it to cool. Is that... Okay, so me and the camera cooled down. Um, anyway, I was talking about the steamed milk. So yeah, uh, when my mom made hot chocolate, we had to heat up the milk on the stove and you had to constantly stir it so it wouldn't scorch on the bottom but that's exactly what it smells like it really does smell like steamed milk i i actually really enjoyed that one and this is uh mainstays uh hazelnut cream and i did i had, think i had a little better luck with the throw on the candle of this than the wax melts but it was a, a really nice uh coffee scent and this is the Yankee Gel Tin uh, Warmers. And this is in Sicilian Lemon. And I actually thought this would be a really strong thrower, but it wasn't. Um, I had to stick it in the bathroom at one point, but I don't know. I was really expecting that one to, to throw pretty good. 
Um, I had better luck with this one. This is the uh, Catching Rays. And this is um, definitely a uh, beachy kind of scent. It's um, uh, very, almost like a, a stringent kind of um, ocean air kind of scent. It's definitely ocean airy. Um, maybe even get a little hint of the saltiness, but it, it doesn't soften up at all when it's uh, burning, which I thought it would, but it really um, has a very strong throw. And then, I don't, okay, I don't know what this is. Um, it looks like the top of a sauce from Takeout. I don't know how it got in there. Um, you can see Abby's teeth marks in there. So, um, like usual, we can blame Abby. Uh, he likes to get in trouble. Uh, oh, this is Yankee Candle Seaside Woods in the tart. I really like this one. I love the smell. Oh, it's just beachy. It's woodsy. It actually had a fairly decent throw on this one. I really enjoyed it. Oh, I love that scent. And then I do have meadow showers, and I'm finishing this up in the office. This little tea, um, the little tart, I think I've gone through about four tea lights so far, and it's still going. Uh, meadow showers is strong in any form, whether it's a melt, a center cup, a uh, candle. I always have a strong throw with meadow showers. Some people say it smells like uh, Irish Spring. I haven't smelled Irish Spring soap in years. I have no clue what it smells like, but there is a soapiness to it, but I really, really like this one. And this is Easter Basket by Yankee Candle. Oopsie. Um, this had a greenery scent. Uh, it does. It's not sweet. Well, maybe a slight sweetie kind of greenery scent, but it's not strong at all. I do have a centerpiece in that. I'm going to have to try it out in the centerpiece cup. Soft Blanket. I really like this scent, and it, it actually throws pretty good. Um, always have some good luck with the tarts in this Soft Blanket. Oh, it's so soft and relaxing. Oh, love that one. Uh, Angel Wings. Oh, Sparkling Angel by Yankee. I couldn't smell that one. Um, and Moonlit Gardens, uh, this was the votive. I have a little bit better luck with the, uh, tarts in this one. It's a really musky, slightly sweet kind of floral scent. It's really good, um, but it's a bit on the light side. Um, and this is, oh, Berry Trifle. These are in the votives, um, from Yankee. Uh, again, if you want a stronger scent, just cut these in half and make them into tarts. But it is good, a really good berry scent. I love those deep berry scents. I just love them. And anyway, okay, that's it, guys. That's all I have. Well, not all I have. That's a lot. I went through quite a bit. Um, so yeah, it's good, a good time to go through my stash and uh, pull out the candles that I've been really wanting to try. And... Um, yeah, I'm doing okay. I, I don't have any craving to go out to the bath and buy doors to get candles. Um, I prefer fall winter candles anyhow, so I'm, I'm not going into withdrawal. I am going into some major withdrawal. I'm starting to, um, you know, when it comes to winters and home scents and marshals, I, I am kind of missing those quite a bit. Um, but anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. We're all healthy here. I just can't chew or see. But other than that, I'm doing great. Jules and Frank are doing well. Um, yeah, and we're um, doing okay at the hospital. We certainly do have cases in the hospital. Um, but it's not crazy, thank goodness. Uh, so everyone take care. Oh, I just... That tooth, I tell you, I'm just ready just to... Anyway, um... Everyone take care. Give your loved ones a hug and kiss. Um, well, di digitally, anyhow. Um, and anyway, I'm, oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm in a fog right now. So anyway, I better shut up and say goodbye. So everyone take care and we'll see you soon. <laughs> goodbye.